Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the course for the problem C that is quest. Okay. So in this problem, Monocorp is a person is playing a computer game. In order to level up his character, he can complete quest. Okay. So there are n quests in the game, numbered from one to n. Monocorp can complete quest according to the following rules. Right. So the first rule is the first quest is always available for completion. Okay. And for I quest is available for completion of if all quests j less than i have been completed at least once okay that is the mandatory condition so he can do note note that monocorp can complete the same quest multiple times that is <coughs> his choice so there is a scenario like for completion of i quest he gets ai experience points right for each subsequent completion of i quest he gets bi experience points right that is a condition so as monocorp is a very busy person so he has free time to complete no more than k quest okay so we need to we need to determine the maximum possible total experience can get monocorp can get if he can complete no more than k quest right so this is a very not very simple but simple problem so let's see so let's say we have in the first case we have four three one two right one 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 so how many quests seven quests so he can take he can play all quests here from i equal to i equal to one to i equal to four so the summation will be four three seven one eight plus two ten right now after ten he has only three more quests so three more quests he can either play this game so it will be one this one this one so maximum three three is the maximum possible score so total will be 13 here so there will be some confusion for this case but i will explain a better example here so one two five right three one eight now see now what what monocorp has to do he has to play this game first game like that is the most important because if he can't play this game he will not be able to play other games further games so that's why he has to play this game so he will play this game the experience he will get one right so now he has one more quest second that is what he can do he can play this game either this game or he can play this game same game and get the experience of three right so there is two choices either he can play this or this so what better better is this playing through the same game because this will resents the score uh, experience as four and if he decided to play this game the experience will be three so that is not the ideal case so right so that is the case so let's suppose suppose if the experience is uh, sorry the quest is 4 not quest is 3 instead of 2 we have 3 then what is the possible thing the possible thing is that first we will play this game then this game so that will be 1 plus 2 1 plus 2 will be 3 and then this game so score will be 8 in this case right and like if we try to do something else like play this game so 2 times so 1 and then he will play the same game twice so one three and three that will be seven right so what is the better way better way is that play each game once that will give the better score so we need to find this so how can we find this how can we solve this problem so what we need to do <coughs> we need some variables that will be one we need to find the maximum of in B array. So we need to have max of B. This is the one. Right. Another you will have temp. Temp. Okay. Temp. And another will be answer. Right. This is the case. All will be zero initially, so that is not a variable thing. Then what you need to do, 
you need to iterate like you have two vectors a comma b in the starting don't forget this so you need to iterate from i equal to 0 i equal to 0 to i less than n right then what you need to do you need to check a one condition if if this i is equal to equal to k that means you have completed all your quests so you can't play further just break it just break it here yeah. right if that is a condition you just need to break it otherwise what you need to do you need to add in the temp variable that will store a temporary answer temp plus equal to a of i why a of i we need to calculate the sum like we will play each game one by one that is the thing so at the each step we need to determine the maximum d so what can we do maximum of b right this will be equal to maximum of maximum of this max max d comma uh, b of i right that will be the maximum because we need to have this thing like like after all completion games this is the value 8 so we can play the maximum that third game maximum number of times so that our experience will be added that will be higher right so at the end what you need to do you need to update your answer so this is inside the loop the same same step right so you need to update your answer answer will be you this you need to, to take the maximum maximum of temp temp because we know we have played these many games till i okay then you need to do this thing k k is the total number of quests we have already played k right then we need to do minus one okay because it is a zero waste index that's why we need to do minus one yes and then we will multiply this with max of t right so what is that case that is a case like um, okay that is that is the case we don't need to play this like we don't need to play further we will take the maximum experience and play those games right at the each step we need to do that and this value will be compared by current answer so current answer and this value so your final will be this answer okay so answer is your final value hope you understand this solution like this video subscribe the channel thank you and keep coding